Let me see. It's got some capped brood in it. So the top is, this There's is honey capped, here. Capped honey. And then the dark brown is the capped brood. And then, is there any uncapped brood in this one? Let me mm -hmm. look on the other side. No, I don't see any larva in this one. Nope. Looks like they're starting to fill those up with honey, like pollen. Pollen, though, yeah. yeah. They need pollen to feed the brood. See, here's a. See the two domed ones down there at the bottom. Well, there's the there's a domed one that's open. Right. Is that that's um. Drone. See this one here. That one they probably opened because there was something wrong with it. Uh -huh. And here's another domed one here. Mm. Um, so there might have been some drones in there. But there's not going to be too many yeah, drones. They seem like they're domed out also up here. No, those are those are workers. And okay. see this one they've, they've torn open. Or uh -huh. else they're just now capping. One of the two. So it might be bad brood. Yeah, it looks like out. there's still larvae in there. Um, but... Uh, um, there won't be as many drones this time of year because they're going to quit producing drones mm -hmm. for the winter. I'm getting into their flight path over here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try to stay on the other side. Get you guys with your heads down. You'll have the sun to your face that way. So we're using a long knife to cut down the side because they're they've connected the comb to the side of the um, hive box, and I do that to um, seal off different parts to to keep it cool or warm, whatever they need, depending on the season. Also strengthens. Yeah, strengthens the hive also since it's hanging. And they've got all the bars stuck down with propolis to seal them. Okay, let's see. Just a little bit of honey at the top, but just enough to feed the brood. And there's some cat brood. There's a larva there. Um, is there are these larvae down here? Oh, I yeah, didn't get a see. Those are all larvae. So all the white um, grub looking things in those are larvae. The baby bees and they will eventually be capped over so they can finish growing and then they break out when they're ready. Still not seeing the queen. No, nope, there's not much on that side going on. Just the honey at the top. I used a lot of it. And this is um, the end of August so they're slowing down on their laying and starting to transfer form the um, the brood comb into honey stores for the winter. And in this size, it seems that they've mostly connected to the the. Um, west wall which gets the most sun because here on the east side there's a privacy fence that keeps it shaded on this side Check this one out. 
That's a brood, cat brood. Lots of cat brood. Um, must be a much larva on this one. Let's see, I'm still not seeing the queen. Let's see what the other side looks like here. Yeah, that's um, not much brood on that side, just a little bit of cat. And there's down in the hive. Boy, they have it shaped pretty, just like the box. There's some capped brood. They're, it looks like they're coming down with their honey stores from the top. Um, it was just at the top, but now they're coming down more. What's the other side look like? This has a lot of pollen in it. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not seeing any larvae on here either. A lot of pollen in there. See that one, how much pollen's in it? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of good pollen on this too. Mm hmm Bright yellow. Let's see. Sometimes I think the queen runs away from us because we never see her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's also hard to spot. I've never had these bars out. And these, let's see, one, two, three. These three. Four or five were the original brood bars um, that we didn't put spacers between because we just put the spacers between the ones further for when they had honey stores because they make the honey, the comb for the honey thicker, it seems. The ones further back that we pulled out had them, um, but they were making it just for honey, they were a lot thicker. This one's very light, not much brood at all in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's not much capped anything in that one. Just the empty comb. A lot of, if you look at the bottom, there's pollen stored kind of at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Some at the, some honey at the top, but not a lot. Let's see the other side. Oh, I think, here, look. Look right here. I'm not sure, but I think that's her. Let's see. I don't know if that's her or not. Huh. See, she's got a red area in the back. Uh-huh. Just watch her a minute, because she looks like it might be bigger. See how her abdomen looks different? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of reddish through there. Just watch her, and it looks like she's starting to lay an egg. I don't know. There's some more up here that have yeah. red on them, so maybe that isn't her. Now, our, our queen was already bred when we got her, so did she, would she have a number on her? No, we didn't ask. We didn't get a mark. Queen. Okay. Marked queens, they mark with a dot of paint on the thorax, makes them easy to see. There's one doing a waggle dance. Oh, uh, yeah? That's talking to the others. <laughs> I 
Let's see down in here, see if we can see her. Now, was it the first or the second one that we that the queen's cage was originally tied to? Do you remember? No. I think it was it was one of the first or second. Those were like the first couple of bars they put comb on. 